A classification tree uses a split condition to predict class labels based on one or more input variables. The classification process starts from the root node of the tree and at each node the process will check whether the input value should recursively continue to the right or left sub-branch according to the split condition. This process stops when meeting any leaf or terminal nodes. The idea behind classification trees is to split the data into subsets where each subset belongs to only one class. This is accomplished by dividing the put space into peer regions, that is, regions with samples from only one class. With real data, completely peer regions may not be possible, so the decision tree will do the best it can to create regions that are as peer as possible. Boundaries separating these regions are called decision boundaries. And the decision tree model makes classification decisions based on these decision boundaries. In this diagram, we have an example where we are able to partition the space into regions that are 100% peer, meaning there are only examples from one class in each region. The goal is to partition data at a node into subsets that are as peer as possible. In this example, the partition shown on the right results in more homogeneous subsets. Since these subsets contain more samples belonging to a single class than the result subsets shown on the left. So the partition on the right results in pure subsets and is the preferred partition. Therefore, we need a way to measure the period of split in order to compare different ways to partition a set of data. It turns out that it works better mathematically if we measure the impurity rather than purity of a split. So, the impurity measure of a node specifies how mixed the resulting subsets are. Since we want the resulting subsets to have homogeneous class labels, not mixed class labels, we want the split that minimizes the impurity measure. A common impurity measure used for determining the best split is the Gini index. The lower the Gini index, the higher the purity of the split. So the decision tree will select the split that minimizes the Gini index. Besides the Gini index, other impurity measures include entropy or information gain, misclassification rate, but we, we are not going to how to calculate each of these in this course. All you need to know is that each one measure how mixed the partitions are. Let's practice now how to compare models with a different split criteria in R. 